guys, here's the new boat. We ended up getting it and it worked out. As you can see, he's a little big for the Subaru, but once we get home, we won't, we won't be going very far, just a couple miles from home, because the Yamaha can take care of the rest of the travel. But anyways, got a nice windshield now, no more clowning around in the spray. And this, got an antenna. Yeah, you guys want to see the antenna in action? It's just one of those, you set it up and they, then you mean business. Yeah. So we'll leave that up for now. You got the open windshield, you got the bow, you got your radio system, got downrigger mounts, we got an electric downrigger with it. Nice Yamaha 90 horse two stroke. That's just a quick walkthrough. We'll show you guys more tomorrow, but yeah. we just want to let you guys know the purchase has been made. Yes. Nice, nice uh, ration of Yama loop. Keep it running smooth. Well, guys, this is officially it. Oh, oh my goodness. We did not warm that up at all. Let it warm up for a little bit. Right now we're running at 700 RPM. Hold that box. You need to show. You need to show the people that. I'm gonna unhook the. You uh... gotta get out of this guy's way. Yeah, we'll go. No, boss. Dude, these are lounger lounger seats. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is. We're gonna idle our way out of the harbor here. Solid uh, water pump. Yeah, water's pumping good. It's an 04 motor. If you're watching this, Chris, yeah, it was an 04, not a 94. So thank you for not knowing that. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna kinda coast around the harbor here, get her warmed up, and then we'll take her out, not by the narrows, but just kinda, kinda around. See how she runs. This boat was built here, by the way. It was built right over there. Where you see the shoreline sign over there, that is where it was uh, It was produced way back when. See if anything comes out of the bilge when I hit this. I hear, the, I hear the bilge going, but nothing's coming out. That's cool. But yeah, guys, this is, this, I know we the hotline bling. Anyways, guys, this is the, uh, this is the boat. Nick's pretty excited, but uh, we have, a, we, have a, we have a tack tachometer, ladies and gentlemen. That works. We got a tack. We have a fuel uh, mile tracker for a nap man. We have a fuel gauge. 1,300 hours, so it's got a few on there, but it's uh, it's an old two-stroke, so it should should be tried and true, hopefully. Might not actually have that many hours. Sometimes if the battery's just on, but the motor's not going, this thing will keep going, too. Hard saying. Hold on. It shows you trim. Yeah. Trim level. Boys, we got a better deal than we originally thought. I know we know. But, uh. Yeah, we just, uh. We got the runner, boys. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a better rundown on the boat. It's it actually so, fired right up. And we did not warm that up, guys. No, huh? no idle engager either. Just it pure just, start. Pure startup. We, we'll detail it. We'll get a thing going. But, uh, we, we need a name, guys. So if you got anyone has any suggestions for a. I have a name for a tide runner. We'd, uh, we'd love to hear it. So we'll see you. We'll see you when we're at the mouth of the harbor. Knock on wood. Yeah. Knock on wood's a good name. But guys, we do need name suggestions. We got a couple in mind, but we're we're gonna we might leave it up to you guys to figure some out in the comment section. So comment down below.
not normal, guys. That was uh, lucky. Yeah. We're lucky we didn't just hit a sea line two minutes into the new review. Oh, crap. <laughs> See how she steers? Another one, another sea. It's gonna save it, it's gonna jump. Get on video. Right? I do. Should we just head back and clean it? Yeah. It works. Want to drive, boss? Huh? You can, you can, it's your move, boss. You've been waiting for this moment for years. So we're going to give you a little rundown of this thing. Tell you what we like about it, what we don't like about it. Uh, yeah. Let's we'll start off with what we don't like. The slight crack in the transom. It seems pretty cosmetic because it's pretty firm, but we'll just have to steal that up and put some vice grips on it. Get, get that thing, Gary. We'll start at the back of the boat and we'll work our way to the front. So powering the boat, we got 2005 Yamaha 90 horse. It's two stroke, it's one of the newer two strokes. And the guy still selling that uh, thought it was a 94, but it's a 2005, so. So we won right there. Yeah. It says five grand. We got it for three, three. Three thousand dollars for this clown, so. As a kicker bracket, we're gonna eventually get a nice, probably a little four stroke kicker so we don't have to run all the trolling hours on the uh, two stroke, plus two strokes are pretty prone to fouling when you're idling them for a long time. Mm -hmm. so. Just push pull steering, not hydraulic, but it's brand new lines, brand new gas lines, electrics, and all that. So now we're going to transition into the boat. So uh, we got our downrigger mounts and our electric downrigger hookup on both sides. And then we have our uh, has 22 gallon fuel tank and the oil tanks in the motor. It's oil injected, uh, dual batteries. You got our switch right here and. Uh, all our fuses and stuff for the engine sensors, like oil pressure and oil level, stuff like that. It has an overheat monitor. And the bilge is down under there, you can't see it right now. That's one thing we don't really like about this boat, it's pretty hard to access the bilge, clean it out. But it does that, but. but it does work, and that's... It works, there's bilge pump. That's you can awesome. see we got bilge pump, anchor light, running light, cabin light. And this right here, aux ones for the windshield wiper. Pretty cool. We don't know what aux two is for. We could, we really couldn't tell you. Yeah, we'll figure. It out. We'll figure that out. Uh, oh, this is when you know you're. We're. We usually catch fish bigger than 39 inches. We're gonna have to get you know a bigger tape, but that is a helpful feature. Yeah, it came. Here's your water separator for the fuel line, and then uh, it came with a bimney. We'll show you a clip of that eventually one day, but it's a little bimney and it comes fully down, so it's enclosed. You got your antenna, this comes up for the for the VHF. For the marine radio. So for the, for the, <laughs> the antenna comes up for the marine radio. We got our uh, stereo system with, of course, the auxiliary port. That's a big feature. <laughs> this, this is so we can bop on our way to the spots. Absolutely bop. Digital tachometer, oil sensor, stuff like that. Trim, uh, everything's on there. No horn, we're not a big fan of that. There's no horn, so. Yeah. You got your bow storage. It's all carpeted up there. There's reinforced. Years of storage. This window right here opens. You can walk out onto the bow. It's just a nice platform. It is. Keep the crab pot up there or something. This will be used as a saltwater and freshwater boat. So it'll be nice to have you know an open amount of room to, to clown around in. Got our storage rails on the side. The speakers are the front's a little rusty. That's kind of nasty, We're, but uh, we'll repaint those up. This was a this was a off-road deal. So they do work. They do. 
They absolutely, they absolutely Little do. Little storage box. Just push key or whatever. The, it, we haven't even looked in there. It's probably janky. It's, we're just gonna leave that. This, One of the coolest things on the boat. This boat runs on gas, not thanks. And that's what, <laughs> we really do agree with that. Uh, throttle's a little stiff. Yeah, but the steering lines. are a little stiff, but it's all new lines. So I should loosen up. You got your idle fast for neutral if you want to do a little more than choke, you can get that going and then rev well, it If you want to rev it out a little bit. But yeah, here's the Bimini hookups right here, and then right here it clips on. It's uh, slidable. And here's your power light that's just hooked up in the front. Where Natalie is. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't come with an anchor light. So we'll have to pick one of those up. Pick one of those up. It came with lots of rod holders all over the place though, so. Yeah. At least rod holder mounts, and we have plenty of rod holders sitting around. So, yep. but yeah, that's it's it's a very basic fishing boat. It's the first step before owning a greedy white, basically. Yes. But uh, yeah, she's got a little turn in it. We'll probably make this a back-to-back uh, -back seat. That way, we can fit three people a lot easier. Or you can just use chairs and put them back here, like campfire chairs. But uh. Besides that, it's pretty good. You guys kind of saw how she ran on the water, how we almost hit that sea lion. Not planned. Really not just planned. Not, came out of nowhere. But uh, but yeah, that's the basics of this thing. Yeah, let us know if you guys have any name suggestions for the boat. We're thinking, we're thinking of a couple, but let us know what you think in the comments. Well, you want to tell people why this boat is so special? Well, if any of you guys who are local to Gig Harbor, maybe Tacoma, you know of a restaurant called Anthony's. It used to be called Shoreline. And it was, uh, the Tide Runner factory was right next to that in downtown Gig Harbor, the main Gig Harbor, which is pretty cool because that's where we launch a lot and that's where we do a lot of our fishing from. Which is cool to be in a boat that was made in the hometown. And they were, and they're notoriously seaworthy vessels. So if you look over here, these things, it's not just a V-hole, it is a deep V-hole, ladies and gentlemen. This thing has tons of dead rise. It really just cuts through the water. It almost has a Carolina bow. I'm not sure I'll be able to get the angle on it, but uh, because as you can see, the bow shoots way out. And it, it really performs really well in the rough water. Came with a new crank, so it's always cool. And then uh, this is a little stiff. We're gonna fix that. Trailer's a little, uh, it's a little couple A couple rusty spots, but yeah. it's not total. It's, it's, in, it, it's in good shape. For what it is, for how old it is, it's in good shape. Uh, it's a 16 foot tide runner for all you tide runner nerds out there who obviously are gonna, you know, probably complain about something, which we will gladly hear because we need to, uh, we need to, we need the comments to help us out with this thing. Uh, 16 footer, 90 horse. 1980, 1981. So we have tons of stickers. Gamagatsu, our second favorite sponsor. Uh, we have our probably our favorite sponsor right here, Lamb Glass. You always got to fish with freaking confidence. And this is just the Anderson Island Boat Club. Anderson Island's where we picked the boat up from. Anderson Island. Took it home on the ferry. So we got her a little cleaned up. She needs to be polished. But uh, needs new bottom paint. But it, for what it is, videos will be coming. Lots yes. of good videos. Coming. We will have, we will have, real hardcore fishing videos for you guys soon. No more looking outside, looking out the window, and saying it's too windy. <laughs> and being in the little boat, basically no capsizing. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's that's basically it. So. Thanks for watching, as always. Tight lines.